Absolutely, John. Disappointing. But as you're noting, not really surprising. Talked with administration officials just moments ago who said the president's demands are clear. He outlined them in his speech to Congress. The demands are turn over suspected terrorists Osama bin Laden, turn over anyone linked to the Al-Qaeda terrorist network, and allow the U.S. to have an access to the terrorist training camps and close them down. I asked this official, was the administration holding out any hope that this diplomatic mission might be successful? The official saying, look, it is now time for actions, not words. There's no more room for negotiations, no room for talks, no room for discussions. It's time for action. So, a clear message coming from the administration. And as you noted, a very important meeting today, John. The president sitting down with King Abdullah of Jordan. The king is expected here at the White House just a few moments from now. This is a very important meeting, jo Jordan being the United States' closest or one of its closest Arab allies. The president has been reaching out to moderate Arab nations to make the case that this is campaign against terrorists and those who harbor them and not against Islam. We're likely to see strong strong support from Jordan in this campaign against terrorism. Although, John, it's interesting, likely to see King also though, making sure that there is a measured response to those September 11 attacks. The King definitely concerned to make sure that any response does not exacerbate tensions that already exist in the Middle East and does not lead to a wider conflict on the world stage. John, Absolutely. And as you've reported so well too, you know that the administration clearly does not want to come forward and say that a goal is to remove the Taliban regime. But we've heard the president himself calling it an incredibly repressive regime, even encouraging the people of Afghanistan to step up and help the world community in this campaign against terrorism and those who harbor terrorists. So clearly, the administration not wanting to come forward with that goal because of the point you raised. Concerns that that could turn away moderate Arab allies. Muslim nations concerned that this could lead to some instability in the region, instability in Afghanistan, instability in neighboring Pakistan. So, it's a message that the administration not putting forward, but clearly, administration would not be happy, unhappy, to see that happen. And now, it's sort of setting the stage for definitely type of showdown with the Taliban. John?